Hello everyone, welcome to the Brocast, or the Brokucast, as I like to say. On this podcast, we talk about anything like tokusatsu, anime, or other genres or franchises. Marvel, DC, maybe like what? I don't know. Maybe like sci-fi? Actually, no, no, I'm kidding. no sci-fi. No sci-fi. <laughs> and it's a baby, but still. Anyway... I'm your host, my name's Aaron, and today we're here to talk about a show that, uh, yeah, I just finished watching for the third time. First two times, I loved it. I loved it, not, not gonna lie. It was enjoyable and beautiful for that final battle, but, like, what, like we watched it for the third time with, with a brand new image in my point, in my perspective, for how I feel the show. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think I found a show that is somewhat on the same level, but not at not at the highest level of Lupat. <laughs> oh boy, you'll see what I'm t- no. Today we're going to talk about Rear Soldier, Kishu Sentai Rear Soldier, and oh boy, Im- I'm gonna say this. Imagine if you watch an anime, right? Yet that anime you watch is so boring, and at the same time you're like, okay, no, it could be this bad in live action. Oh, oh, and you basically get that, <laughs> but you basically get that, but with a soldier. Ma- again, imagine watching a boring anime, but at the same time you're like, there's no way in heck they'll do like a boring. A bad live action adaption of this anime. Oh. But it's not anime though. It's Tokusatsu. And you basically get. <clears throat> you basically get Rear Soldier. <sighs> Got some water for my throat. And um. Uh, oh boy. There's a lot to say about this show. Now this review is going to be mostly Negative. I hate to sound like David Downer because I'm going to talk about a kid's show for a while. <clears throat> again, and again, the first time. So, here we go. Let's go on to the characters. Cole. Yeah, Cole's boring. I like, I can't see, like, I don't know what to say about the guy because I did, because there's like nothing to say about him in general. And what I'm, I'm sorry. And what I mean by. <laughs> And what I mean. So I'm, I'm fixing something. And what I mean by that, that imagine watching a boring anime protagonist that had like the dumbest plot armor. Like, not, not, not even anime. Imagine Daigo for Kuryuger. And yeah, and yeah, Daigo merged with freaking. Fucking Arata from Ghost Sager. Merge those two together and add a little bit of Takahari from Nin Ninja. You get Cole. And my god. <laughs> Cole is way worse than Takaharu. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he is he's way worse than Takaharu. No offense to the actor. The actor's cool. He seems like a cool guy. I like his performance, but the character Cole, he's so boring as hell. He got, he fucking has that, he had that fucking Takaharu, Daigo, and freaking Arata plot. Not a plot, character vibes. When I first, when I watched it for the third time, like, why does he remind me of all three of these past Red Rangers? Why? Why does he remind me of all of them? Because, my God, it is so boring. Like, fuck it. Ta- at least Takaharu, he- he's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna, all right. hot take. I don't think Nin Ninja is the worst Sentai. It isn't that bad. No, we have Lupin and Ghost Sager, guys. It's way better than Ninja Steel, so. At least Takaharu has somewhat emotion. Somewhat. I feel so, I say somewhat because I don't... B- because I have a feeling his actor, what I have a feeling actor did want, didn't want to freaking say I'm on fire every time. 
But I think Takahari has somewhat of emotion in his in his uh fight scenes in in Ninja. Cole doesn't have it that much. I can I forget, at time okay my dog's barking. At time he felt like he was Daigo. Because look like and my, my god damn it, my dog's barking. Fuck. Sorry. There are times that he felt like he was freaking Daigo from Kuryuji. And when I say that, I mean like he he basically at time move move Arata and Takaharu out of the equation out of the equation. Cole's basically a wash up <laughs> wanna be I'll say Naka version of Daigo. Because him basically because in Kiryuji, spoiler if you don't have to watch the show. But in Kiryuji, it was Daigo that basically made Nasan, Amy, uh Soji, Ian, and Uchi all be good friends to the to all to the final battle. Here in Real Soldier it was Cole that made Toa, Bamba, and uh, Kanado all be, all be good friends with well, Cole himself, Melto, and Asuna. I'm like, okay, so basically, someone was copying of Riku Sanjo's work from Kiryuji. Because my god, he basically is a copy of Daigo. And like, it's not even that. This show's plot, I'll get on the plot, I'll get on the plot when I'm done talking about a character, but like, there are times when this show's plot feel like a copy and paste from Abba Ranger and Kiryuji. And, and that pisses me off, like, Really? You got a copy of two past get two past fan favorite dinosaur sentais? Because because like this show has like no originality. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. It has to be said, cause it fucking doesn't. So better not say about Cole. Yeah, Cole's boring. He's not yeah, he he ain't no he ain't he isn't bad he isn't on the same level as freaking fuck. Uh, freaking what? Alita? Actually, no, he is. Yes, he is. He's on the he's on the same level as Alita. Alita is boring. Not just that, he's on the same level of being he's he on the same level of Keturo from Lupat. Hell, I'll take Keturo over Cole any day. At least Keturo has somewhat enjoyment in Lupat, even though I cannot stand that show. Cole doesn't have a character arc. His whole character arc is him want to get stronger, stronger, stronger. I'm like, okay, dude, calm down. You, calm down. You felt you feel like you're a male version of Asuna right there. And like, don't get me started on Asuna. Matter of fact, no. Let's talk, let's talk about our Pink Ranger show. Imagine if he, imagine Hana. Hanachan from Oz has imagine Hana son Hana Hanachan or Easy Me from Oz, you know, freaking uh the police sister, the the police guy, the police little sister that Aunt that Aunt Body possess. That Aunt that Aunt the Aunt the body that Aunt, you know who Hanachan is from Oz. So yeah, imagine her, but. As a pink ranger, but yeah, she's completely loot useless. And yet at the same time, her only personality and characteristic in the show are her eating and fighting. She's a sim she's a slimmer female Goku. Because we both know that Goku's two main traits in Dragon Ball Z. Not Dragon Ball, all Dragon Ball Media is eating and fighting. That's pretty much it. Hell, see, hell, out of brown point, out and add some brownie points in there. She's a, she's an airhead with anger issues, just like Cole. But again, then, again, then, 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 Cole's anger issues just him being annoying when he was a kid. 
But yeah, uh, yeah, uh, she has ink. She has uh, well, she has ink is just too bad. Same, but yeah, she's dumb. She's fucking dumb. She doesn't have like a good character. She's just that. She's just that stereotypical main anime or not anime character. <laughs> you still call her anime character, dude? I'll be honest with you. Ha this whole show felt like felt like a live action version of a garbage anime that I've been watching for twenty four seven. And her whole character is just her eating while getting stronger, fighting strong people. That's pretty much her character. But also that she's a fucking airhead. She had good moments, yes, I'll be honest, she did. But at the same time, she was a fucking airhead. See, she, she's nowhere, she's nowhere, she's nowhere as bad as freaking Airy from Ghost Sager. Because Airy from Ghost Sager is a fucking dumbass. If you want to hear my whole thoughts about Ghost Sager in general, first time watching, by the way, I have a podcast episode on my channel. About I have yeah, I can talk. I have a podcast episode on my channel of me talk about Ghost Sager in general. So go check that out because that was a that was that was some that was some episode I did. Anyway, back saying yeah, but Asna, she just she doesn't have like she doesn't have a character. I mean, she had some few good moments here and there. I, mean, I like the interaction with the team, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, she didn't, yeah, she doesn't have a character just being, I'm the super strong girl. But by the way, they did not explain why the hell she is that strong. Because again, they did the same thing in fucking Oz Rahana, sorry, Rahina. We had to never explain Oz, why was he, why was he so strong? And same thing here. Apparently, from what I was told, if some kind, if some kind of inside Japanese joke about about girls being, about Japanese girl being so strong, which is okay, understandable. But here's the thing: you have you have a uh, overseas fans who doesn't know this stuff, like me and many others. So that so that kind of. So that is that kind of lost in translate, I guess I can say. I'm sorry, my voice got squeaky yet, but yeah. But yeah, that kind of like that kind of like that being lost in translate. I, I don't know what to say about that, but uh, yeah. So uh, on to Melto. Oh, I gotta be honest, with you. <clears throat> First time watching the show, I thought Melto was the most intelligent ranger, intelligent member of the team. But uh, same for my second rewatch. But like my third rewatch, just me finishing the show. Yeah, no, he's the most dumbest one. He he's like the most second. He's like the third dumbest ranger in the team. And when I say that, I made that literally because he tried to act so smart and intelligent. But yeah, at the same time, Terry and Migo, Terry and Migo make fun of him for being a fucking idiot. Excuse me, Lane Rich, but yeah. And honestly, yeah, I can see it too. He's an idiot. Like, he's not, like, he's nowhere as bad as Hyde from freaking Ghost Sager. Hell, not just Hyde. Freaking, uh, Yakumo from Nin Ninja. Hell, not a Yakumo. Let's talk about fucking, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's compare him to the worst. To the worst Green Ranger ever, Patrick Pat Patrick Green from from Lupat. I forgot his fucking name. Patrick Green from Lupat. Because my God, that guy is that guy is a fucking idiot. And <laughs> Melto seemed like he got some tricks. He took some notes from him. And Melto, you could have done way better, my guy. Just saying, you could have done way. Freaking better, my guy. I'm just saying. But no, no, no. 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 Just. Nope. He's like. Melto, like. Melto used to be interesting in the first. First, second time I watched his show. But like, third time? Yeah, no. He's just dumb. He's just dumb. 
again, the last time I watched, last time I watched, last time I watched, last, I can talk, fuck. The last time I watched a show that, that tried to make the Blue Ranger super intelligent than others was fucking Ghost Sager. And I can't stand Hyde. Because Hyde's a boring ass character. And my least favorite Ghost Sager. Who's, who's your favorite Ghost Sager, Aaron? Oh, that's easy. It's Agri. Even though Agri kind of bland that time, I'll take him. At least his, his focus episodes were meh, okay, but I'll take him over high stupid revenge plot because, oh, I want to avenge my fellow comrade who was go say green, but yet no, he'll actually send from Decker Ranger. <laughs> honestly, that, honestly, the whole freaking. Freaking subplot of high, high work, high freaking teamwork was so stupid in the show. I didn't like that because it didn't go nowhere. And then, for some weird reason, they kind of tried it again in Nin Ninja with Yakumo. And I don't know why. Ugh, anyway. Melto basically is a mixer of Yakumo and Hyde. And because those two are the most blandest Blue Rangers ever. And Melto is the Melto is the Melto is a perfect combination of both of them. <laughs> he had a few good moments here and there, some funny ones, not gonna lie. But but besides that, yeah no yeah no, he's kinda boring. <laughs> Ugh So let's go on to Toa. Oh boy, Toa. So, I used to like Toa. I used to. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I used to like Toa. But at the same time, first time watching the show, I enjoyed Toa's kid. I liked him. I thought, I, thought he was, I thought he was a cool green ranger. Second time watching the show, yeah, I know, he's annoying. He's fucking annoying. Third time watching it, he's okay. I'm like, right. again, this show copy Kiryuger. And I say that in the benefit doubt because, again, Cole basically is a wash off version of Daigo. Because his character, his character vibe, I can say, is a copy paste of Daigo from Kiryuger, and that isn't a good thing. <laughs> Again, let me say, you can disagree with me all you want. That's fair. I may, am I ranting about a kid show? Yes, but a review is revealed, and this is and this is all. This is my criticism and opinion on how I feel about the show. You can like it. That's fair. You can dislike it. That's understandable. But but right now, this is me talking about why I have my problem with the show. So yeah, but yeah. Okay, he felt like yeah. Cole felt like a wash up version of Daigo. And uh we're freaking Toe over here. <sighs> he felt like a he felt like, he's like an uninteresting version of Soji. I fucking love Soji. He's one of my favorite Green Rangers. He's in my top four, by the way, but still, I fucking love Soji. And uh <laughs> Toa is just a it's just a Slimmer, what is it? Slimmer, no. T Toa is just a, yeah, a slimmer down version of Soji. Because, fuck's sake, only thing this guy cares about be the, being the strongest and being the fastest. Like, okay, but again, he had a good moment. He, there are, there are episode to prove to prove that he isn't he is he isn't like the the stereotype Green Ranger that only cares about speed. Oh hell no. He isn't. But he was okay. He was annoying, but still. Ganden, he's Ganden, he's like a He's like a mixture of Soji and a beta version of Sena. But again, then, Sena came after. So that doesn't... I'm not going to slam my girl, but yeah. Yeah, that doesn't say much for Toa. 
So, yeah, Toa, he's okay. He was, like, uh, he felt, it felt like, it felt like he wasn't needed, though. Because, honestly, I'll be saying this to Ben Fidel. We soldiers should have been focusing on, we soldiers should have been focused on Cole, Melto, and Asuna, because, well, the sh it felt like the show wanted to be, like, a somewhat upper ranger and carry your vibe, but had, like, three rangers to begin with, then four, then five, then six, but, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 it didn't, it didn't work that way. And, uh, yeah, nah, no, sorry, no, nah, no, nah, no, that was shit. So, let's talk about the best real soldier, my favorite character in the show, Bamba! I fucking love Bamba. <laughs> first time watching Curry, first, not Curry, sorry, first time watching real soldier two years ago, I fucking fell in love with Bamba's character, because god damn it, he was so funny to me. And he is, he's hilarious, I love Bamba. <laughs> He's just funny, but yeah, at the same time, god damn it, he felt like he was like the leader of the team. Well, I was, yeah, he felt like he was the leader of the team. Like, like what, second in command? Kinda, I say kinda, because we had Melto, who felt like, who felt like a, who felt like the, who felt like a, a freaking leader of the team as well, but still. But still, Bamba, I fucking love Bamba. Bamba had a good character arc in the show because in the beginning, in the beginning, he, in the beginning, he was being the protective brother. But at the same time, he wanted to get stronger and find out what happened to his master. And I really did like the uh, in interaction with him and a uh, freaking uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I really did like the interaction between him and freaking uh Nada too, because. Because those, two, because those two had like an interesting backstory, which I really did enjoy, to be honest. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's good to hear. So, uh. What, so, I want to say that Bomba's care, Bomba's actor. If you saw the Kira Major and Rear Soldier, uh, if you saw the Kira Major and Rear Soldier post, Rear Soldier picks, well, promotion picture with, with both cast members, with, with both cast, Bamba's actor was showing his ass in the picture. <laughs> he was so his glutes. I went, oh, god damn, Bamba. Those, those are some good glutes, my guy. <laughs> I fucking love Bamba. Bamba's awesome. So I, I can't be mad at him. I like Bamba, so, yeah. He like he reminds me of Ghost from Jew Ranger, I fucking love Ghost. Ghost, Ghost like the best character in Jew Ranger. I'm sorry, Jew Ranger is a boring show. Don't get me wrong, but but Ghost was, but Ghost reminds me of me because he felt like the older brother of the team. And same here in Real Soldier. Well, duh, but still, Bamba reminds me of Ghost from Jew Ranger, and I loved it. <laughs> I love it. So let's talk about Kanado. Oh boy, okay. So, I think Kondo is the most controversial one, controversial member of them all. And I say that in the benefit of the doubt because, oh boy. <laughs> I say it in the benefit of the doubt because, oh boy, this, this is, uh, yeah. So, I want to say this. For people that talk about Greece being a complete simp and growth and being creepy or meta, I want to say the Ben for doubt. If you, I'm gonna sound, I'm gonna sound like an asshole for saying this, but uh, excuse me, but if you like the Green Ranger from Lupat, <laughs> then you have no right to talk, my guy or girl. You have no right to talk because my God! Imagine if Otoya was basically a womanizer. No, Otoya is a womanizer. I'm saying, but yeah, I like Otoya. He, he, he like Otoya. Otoya is the only good character in Kiva. Imagine if Otoya, Greece, 
in the Green Ranger from Lupat, all mixed into one Six Ranger. And also, add the mix of that freaking one love, of that, of that freaking one love bug is good from a freaking XA. You get this guy and Kanado. Kanado had a lot of good moments, not gonna lie. I like him. He's probably like my second favorite for, for, his, for his serious moments. I like that. But. I'm not a big fan of him freaking, of him freaking looking over some beautiful woman 24-7. Because, for fuck's sake, please do not be like the Drake. Please do not be like Drake from Kabuto. Cause I like the Drake. I like Daisuke. I do. He's one of my favorite, he's one of my favorite characters in Kabuto. But, my God, the whole time I'm watching that show, I think I said, I think I said in my Kabuto episode, that, uh, Inu, I said that, I said that, uh, Inu Ray wrote for all episodes, and yeah, he definitely did, but Inu Ray didn't write for, for me a soldier, and that's a good thing he didn't. <laughs> but, my God, I, re the reason why I say that here, because it felt like Inu Ray wrote for real soldier, for kind of those character, for womanizing all of them. Like, why is he doing that? And who thought it was a good idea to make kind of the womanize through every woman? It's, it's, like, dude, why you gotta be sexist? Help! When that little boy asks for your help, you don't, you only say you want to help woman, you want to help girls, women. But at the same time, you went back saying, "No, I was harsh to the kids, so let me go." Uh. That's so what's up. And what happened next? Oh, yeah. Why is you kidnapping your Zord and refusing you and the kid? Nice work, dumbass. I swear to God, every time every time he was simping over a girl, I wanted to slap him. But like, dude, no girl wants you. And what was the point of him doing the final episode and the epilogue of him teasing kids about love? No, little kids should not be learning about love at that time. Maybe maybe around maybe, maybe around when their hormones are ready. Around like around like what? When like what? Fifteen or somewhat? But no, just just no, don't. That was bad. <clears throat> Sorry, but no, that was that was bad. I like I like his suits. I I, I, I like the real soldier suit. But I'll, I'll get on that. But I'll get on that night. I'll get on to that. I'll talk about the suits later. But yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, no. That was uh pretty bad. That was pretty bad, dude. <laughs> but again, I see what I see what they're trying to do. Oh ha, huh, so funny. Funny, right? No. It isn't funny. It got annoying. Okay, for a couple of times it was funny. Okay, it was funny. But Later down the line, yeah, no, it got annoying, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that. For people, for people to say, for people to say, but for people going to say that uh, freaking Greece and Bill was simping the whole time. For Greece, it made perfect sense, and at the same time, Misora, what, what, what was an adult? Really? No, he wasn't. Yes, yeah, he was. He was, he was an adult. He was an adult. And Kazumi as well. For Greece, it makes sense. Hell, the freaking hell, his fucking V Cinema literally said that Greece is not only a simp, he will get shit done. Should we not? So we're not gonna talk about the final battle and Bill. How how this man sacrificed himself to save everyone. And that's one of the most. And that's one of my most heartbroken moments in Toku. I fucking love Bill. If you haven't watched Build, go watch Build. Because, god damn, I fucking love Build. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to talk about why, why I love Build. And that's going to be a, and that's going to be a fun pocket episode. I will have some criticism here and there. But uh, I'll say that for another time. So, yeah. So, uh, back on how I was saying, it's this. Kanado had a lot of good moments for being... When he's serious. But... I'm not a big fan, but yeah, yeah, he was simping for these girls. And also, no offense, I gotta say this. Is it just me? Or was he really being a creep? Like, fucking, fucking, um, 
Mako, not Mako, freaking, like, fucking, uh, yeah, Mako from freaking, uh, Ghost, because this guy, because this guy act like, because this guy act like a fucking creep when, when he saw his sister in a freaking cafe outfit. Like, dude, why would you say about your sister? Your little sister, by the way. Because she has a, a, she has a cute, tiny crush on Melto. Even though Melto is in love with her, Melto sees her as like a little sister. Yet, yeah, why did you freaking give the goo goo eyes to your, to your little, to your little sister? Like, dude, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. Don't do that. That's just, that's just weird. That's just weird right there. Don't. That's just weird. So. Oh, shit. I can't, 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 really, can't, can't really get a lot of attention. <laughs> well, it has to be done. So, uh. Back, so better saying, so so I'll look at something. But so better saying is yeah, Melto act Melto really did act like freaking uh Mako from Ghost and I like Spectre. He he he's a cool secondary. Probably in my top ten, like like what number nine I'll say. Mm -hmm. I like him. I like him when I, I like Spectre when he's serious, not act like a freaking simp to his own sister, and. It's, Kinda of though remind me of that here. We yeah, he was yeah, he was being a creep a little bit to his own little sister. Dude, yeah, no, you get slapped for that, just saying. You get slapped for that. You get slapped for that, just saying. <sighs> anyway, let's move on to uh we should talk about next. We right. I won't I'm not gonna say for we for we character we character is this. I know what happened to the actress. I won't be harsh to her. To I won't be harsh to the character because because the actress is well, you know. All I'm gonna say that she was she was okay. So move on. So uh, let's talk about uh let's let's talk about her dad, who's also well set. Seto, her dad, her dad was comedic and cool. He reminded me of, he reminded me of Takaharu and Fuka's dad from Nin Ninja, and Sogo's uncle from Zio. <laughs> and I actually enjoyed that. Cause I love, I love both those fa. I, I love, I love that uncle from Zio and so not and Takaharu's and uh Fuka's dad, cause he was pretty cool. And besides, his actor was in Rave. No, no. Uh, oh, wrong show. Yeah. Besides, Takaharu's dad. The actor, the actor that played Takaharu's dad was in Rave Vice. Well, yeah. I think we all knew that, but still. And I do see his I do see his picture on Instagram and Twitter for his glasses. That's pretty funny, not gonna lie. He seems like a cool guy I want to hang out with. So back on saying. So back on saying. My bad. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was cool, but I gotta say this: What was the point of him being? What was the point of him being the mysterious person known as Seto? A set because, like, first time watching the show, it was first time watching the show. I was like, oh snap! Okay, so this ancient spirit possessing his body. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like the idea. But uh, after like my second, after like my oh, second second rewatch, I thought about, my second rewatch, I thought it was uh okay. But third rewatch, I'm like yeah, uh yeah no, that that doesn't work with me. Mm mm. Because he tried to be this all oh, mysterious person. I'm like, do, do, do. Why are you trying to act all mysterious now? Because number one, that shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> Dude, number one, that shit ain't gonna work here. Like he tried to be all boony and mysterious. Like, okay, but still, it just doesn't work. And don't get me started. 
And don't get me fucking started on him being really so brown. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. We're, we're gonna talk about that. Never know. I'll talk more about Seth once once we go talk once we go talk about the story. So let's move. Let's save him for later. I got more stuff to say about Seth. So let's so let's go on talk about Nada. Oh boy, I got this a lot to say about Nada. I'm not a big fan how they treated this character. Because my fucking guy, he, his whole plot, no, not his plot, half of the time, no, his fucking plot, him being, want to be a real soldier, remind me of Nakia, Nakia Sensei from Abba Ranger, because why the hell did Nada's plot remind me of fucking Abba Killer plot from Abba Ranger? Because in Abba Ranger, Nakia Sensei, Nakia, freaking... Freaking what? What? Nagio wanted wanted that freaking special power that Yoga Son, freaking Ranu and Sanju had, and guess what? They even said it, and they, they even said it in backstory in Abba Ranger. And hell, he even got a special power. He became the Sixth Ranger that show. My favorite Sixth Ranger, by the way. But still, here it felt like they took that and put it in here. It's not just that too. Like, but for say, a after Nada couldn't become a real soldier, he wanted power because he felt like a freaking damn outsider because of that. Freaking Abba Killer felt the freaking Abba Killer went through that exact same character arc. So why, why the hell is there a copy and paste here? Like, are we ripping off other Sentai's? Really? Oh, we're not common Rider! What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse my language, but still. Really? We're copying off- So- So we're copying off other dinosaur sentais. Are we- Are we for real? Because, fuck's sake. This show not only copy Curry Uger, It's fucking copy off Hopper Ranger! This show literally a copy and pl- Oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. This show felt literally like a copy and paste of fucking Abba Ranger as well. And this, and Nada, basically him being Guy Sword. Him wanting all this power. Want to be the strongest. That's basically Abba Killer. But, but yeah, Abba, yeah, Abba Killer didn't want to be the strongest. He, he wants like stronger people for his game, but still. Here, it felt fear felt like Nada was just just a petty little bitch because because I didn't become a real soldier. Ew, oh man, just for that, just for that, I'm gonna make the sword more complicated and get this power and get this red purple armor that that look like Rosar from Magic Ranger. <laughs> like for fuck's sake, why the hell does Ro why the hell does guy start remind me of a wannabe Rosar? Not just Rosar, Korag from Mystic Force. Ugh. And I fucking love and I fucking love Guy Sword suit, by the way, but I'm just I'm just pointing out the obvious here. Like still, Nana still Nana's character are basically remind me of Abba Killers, and that's just lazy. Like how the hell are you gonna copy off a how how like how the hell are you gonna copy off a story arc from one of the best six rangers who had a good character progression from the beginning and end of Abba Ranger? How are you gonna copy off a nerd dinosaur Sentai and put it in here for him? And like, I I talked to a friend about this and he told me that the first time he watched me a soldier, I'm not the first time he watched me a soldier. He said that he was yelling and screaming, say just freaking heal them. And honestly, yeah, I said I said the same thing. Like after the third rewatch, like you, I'm like, you guys, you guys know you have the freaking Shine Raptor key, right? Shine Raptor show, Shine Raptor soul, right? Just use that to heal Nada. Oh, but we can't because plot. That's right. Nada God dies, so freaking Cole can get this get this power up. We so Max. Uh, what's it called, Real Soul Max? I think it was. 
my god, okay. Okay, copy of Abba Max. Good good one. Good one. Good one. Let's copy let's copy let's copy the word Max and take it from Abba Max and put it in Riso and put it in Riso Max. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Just fuck off. If the name be so Max, then okay. Max, hold on. Let me look this up. What the hell? What the what the hell? What the power up name? Do, do, do. Okay. What the hell? What the power up name for? Uh, for this. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I just gotta go look this up because. Be so Max. Yeah, it was weird, so Max. Okay, yeah, it was. So, why did they? Why did they took the word Max and put it? Why did how they took the word Max from Abba from Abba Max from Abba Ranger and put it in here? Like for real? Why are they copying out two other dinosaur Sentai's? <laughs> like, bro, listen. Abba Ranger and freaking uh, Courier are. Our fan favorite dinosaur Sentai. And the fact that Rear Soldier came along and copied off both of them. Not just for the story for Kira Uger, but also copy some of the but also copy a six ranger arc and put it in here for for freaking Nada. Why? Why? That's just lazy. Like what the hell? Like like, was the main writer of the show really, like, really a big fan of Abba Ranger and Kiryu? thought about, hey, you know what? let me, let me go copy off of Akawa and Rio Sanjo's work from both of those seasons. Because, well, say, well, well, they both wrote for those dinosaur Sentais. Let me go copy off them and put it in here. Okay, okay. It's like, it's like this. Imagine you're eating your favorite cereal and then you see this one company making a ripoff of this one other cereal. That's pretty much what's going on here. Someone was copying someone else's homework. And don't get me started on read on Kiryuja. I fucking love Kiryuja. Kiryuja is my top ten, but I have my problem with Riku Sanjo. Riku Sanjo. Riku Sanjo's just writing for how he did Kiryuja. And we're gonna talk about Kiryuja one of these days. Don't get don't worry. <coughs> Again, it's not dime so we're good. <clears throat> anyway, back on our saying. Oh, sorry. Anyway, back on our saying. Yeah, not a character arc. It's just a fucking copy and paste of Abba Killer. What? You're wrong. No, I'm not. Sit your ass down and binge watch Abba Ranger and come back to me because I'm not wrong about this. Because this is fucking bullshit. Why would you copy off another Six Rangers arc? Another Six Ranger arc. And put it in here. Hell, here's the fun fact. Nada feel like more of a Six Ranger than Kanado. And I'm not taking that back. Because he did. He felt like more of a Six Ranger than Kanado did. Ugh. Ugh. I. I can't. I, I fucking can't. Uh, I fucking can't. <sighs> anyway. I like Nada, but at the same time, I'm not a big fan of how, how they copy off, how they copy off Abba Killer's backstory, not fucking backstory, kind of, and freaking story, and put it in Nada. I didn't like that. So let's go and talk about Oto. She's okay. Move move along. Who else do we have? Oh yeah, let's talk about the villains. Man. Well again then one of them was voice acted by Decamax himself, Tetsu Ida. But still besides that, yeah no, this man. He's very no Tetsu Ida better say his voice for Cure Major, so that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> So, yeah, the villains are kind of boring. Well, I want to talk about Precious and Rizuru and, and Kuron. Anymore. Kuron's okay. He, he got annoying in the end. Well, kind of in the end, but he was okay. Ganda, he's way more... Ganda, Ganda, he, he is annoying as his Power Ranger counterpart. 
because power you cannot purchase. That voice really pisses me off. Don't talk about Raizuru. He was fun, enjoyable, but at the same time, he got annoying from coming back from the dead multiple times. Well, again, then faking his death, then, oh, look at that. He's back alive. Like, how is he alive? This show never explain. Show never explain. So, yeah. The show never explain how he came back alive. He's just alive because, just because. Just because. I'm gonna guess because, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna guess because him and Karen Ron were like a fan favorite duo. Because, well, I don't, like, well, I don't blame Japan for liking those two. Those two are a good duo, but still. So, so, so let's talk about Precious. And I gotta say this about Precious. I think Precious is one of the most racist potential villains ever, ever in this show. Because Precious had a good idea. Had a good motive for 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 why for why he wanted to destroy the real soul tribes and humans. Because his mom, Hada, which I have to say, the fucking plot for Hada's is the most dumbest shit ever. Because, because Hada's plot, because the big reveal about Hida is fucking dumb. And I got a lot of things to say about that. No. Okay, let's, let's talk about the fucking story and Precious. I'm going to talk about Precious and Seth in this, in this uh, section. So, spoilers who don't want to hear. For those who are going to watch this video, please do not watch this podcast. XL, but do not watch this video. But for, this, but, but for those who did watch it, you're going to enjoy, you're gonna enjoy what I'm going to have to say. So, I got to say this. I think... <laughs> I think the story is fucking stupid. And let me explain. So, you're telling me that he does the one that created the real soul tribe. The, Dur- the Durans. Oh, okay, he did. Fair- okay, she did. Fair enough. But yet, at the same time, so, the whole reason why these monsters almost killed people is because the real soul tribe were being so damn selfish and greedy and went to war. And the in Hida's final fight, he she literally said, "Oh yeah, I will make a world without negativity." I'm like, okay, so basically, world peace, which we ain't gonna get that for a while. We we, we ain't gonna get that, but still. <clears throat> okay, so basically, so basically, she wanna make world peace, which is stupid because that's fucking dumb. No one will make world peace. I'm saying I'm not being political for saying this, but I'm just saying world peace ain't happening. Cause that's that's basically he does plan. So she wanted to make fucking world peace, and Seto Seto basically said, "Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, uh, I was the one, I was the one, yeah, I was the one that uh who helped your Mex seal uh Precious and her mom from far, far away." I'm like, okay, you say that, then <clears throat> then explain why the hell you're. Why the hell the real soul try right next to Hida the whole entire time the damn show? Oh yeah, because Hida was under the temple. Because Hida created the real soul tribe. That fucking doesn't work here. If I say that. So okay. Let's do for a perfect example. Uh let's see. What what, what can you do for a perfect example? Okay. Alba Ranger. In Upper Ranger, the show Upper Ranger, the final villain, the final villain, uh, I, f- I forgot his fucking name was. The final villain pretty much said, oh yeah, the whole time, Alba Killer, I was controlling you inside your body. So, so all those times that you, all those time, all the time you're acting evil, yeah, that was because of me. Because I was inside your, I was inside your body. <laughs> I'm like, okay, no, hold on. Hold on. That's actually a good plot point. And I like that. That was, that was actually a good plot you know, that was actually a good plot point in the show, and I like that. Because no one, no one, it brings up, it brings up a lot of questions about about why he was acting all this evil, why he was acting like a dick, and all that. Made perfect sense there. Here, real soldier <clears throat> about why Hida was right next to the fucking real soul tribe's temple the whole entire time. It's because Hida created the real soul tribe, which is. So, you're telling me 
So you're telling me because of so you're telling me because he did not like Hedis, sorry, Hedis did not I think he died, my bad. Hedis did not like that that her own creation were going to war, fighting nonstop, killing each other. She decided to make a counter argument by making monster. Which I wanna say, which are the same monster that pretty much killed like a lot of people in the show, a lot of civilian. And uh <laughs> And because of that, because of that, they had to make a counter argument because the ancestor had to steal a sword from a thousand years ago just in case. And the whole time, the sword was connected to the main villain because why not plot? And the sword was fucking useless because they like, fuck's sake, the Reso Caliber was fucking useless. Oh, it's so weakened. Why is it weakened? Because Hades is alive. Hades is Hades is raking it. So the sword breaking because of plot. Okay, okay, that's fucking good. That's fucking good. That's fucking good. That's that's fucking stupid. And Seto pretty much had all this planned from day one apparently for what he said. And the fact that this motherfucker had a repaint guy sword suit and tried to. Be the hero is fucking stupid. And you know what? I wanna say it about I wanna say it about Seth. He's probably the worst plot point in this whole entire show because like number one number one, his whole mysterious factor was fucking stupid. And let me talk about this fun part of the show. The test. So do you know how Kira Yuja, all six Ranger had had to take a test? So here's what they did. They did that here. But for Cole, it's a copy and paste of fucking Daigo because Cole's weakness was basically him not to the fact that he him not to the fact that he is the strongest. And he had anger issues. So basically the basically so basically his test that was he wasn't strong enough. Did they do the exact same thing in Kiryuja? Oh wait, they did do it in Kiryuja. They did the exact same thing with fucking Kiryuja. Why the hell are they doing it here? Like for fuck's sake. Again, why are you copying up two other Dino Sentais? What the fuck? Excuse my language, but still. Why? <sighs> and since we're talking about the story, so I did something on Twitter. I asked a lot of people, give me their opinions on Rear Soldier. I just, I, I tweeted this out uh, two hours ago. I said, this tweet will be deleted in two hours. But for those who didn't enjoy Rear Soldier, please tell me your biggest problem with the show. For me, it's mostly the writing of the story. And here's the replies. I'm going to read some of them. One of them said, a little of everything, writing being poor, the character being one noted, and some straight, some that straight doesn't matter. And the hardest takes of mine are act, are, are status being nothing special in general, in general being overhyped. Which is, yeah, true. That status of show are mad. The fight choreography, well, well, well half, of the, half of the episodes were directed by Koichi himself, which I fucking love. And the mechs are cool, but yeah, I see what you're talking about. Hey, we got another one. Someone said, for me, what I dislike about it is that, by the way, by the way, this one, it, by this one, it's a long paragraph, so be prepared. For me, what I dislike about it, the, it was the fact that it felt like it was trying to be its own thing with, with the whole night motif of the show. By the end, but by the end of the first episode, it was so sad it became like Ginga Man, Ghost Sage, or with our Sentai team up, with a dad, and with, with, a, with our Sentai team media dad and his child as they left. I haven't watched Ginga Man, but I can't say much about Ginga Man. Ghost Sager? Yeah. It felt like a mixer of Kiryuja and Abba Ranger, and it pretty much does. <clears throat> so, he keep, huh, so here we go. Their home temple, their home Temporarily, temporarily, and just because, just become your standard Sentai season. The Rangers cast felt they were noted and did develop, but not much as, 
as IMO for Ray Care. The villain were also set up to be very interesting, but but the chase theme but just being chase theme being cut they got game in place. Yeah Yeah, the generals got annoying after uh, after like what? It's like what I forgot how many fucking generals die in this show. Three of them, then they keep placing one after another. I wanted to like this show, but it didn't felt like it was gonna be a, another down season. But man, it fell down as a show just just became very boring. <clears throat> Alright. So the next person said my reason my reason if it's kind of petty, but it's really just the way the mech is designed. Having a red being focusing on the whole mech and the rest of the team being exercise, exercising. I don't think I'm saying that wrong. The rest of the team just being exercising. It just makes it seem not necessary. On top of that, the main team isn't even involved in the final mech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone else said, I will I will say I'll say when it tried to have a story it kinda of sucks but kinda of sucked at it. And also how like out of all the characters for me, like two on the two on the two and half of a half of them felt like they grew through the show. I asked I asked this person which character are those that felt like they grew up. They said they said no, never mind. Scratch that. They all sucky. I understand what you're trying to answer. There's no problem, man. I give thumbs up. So yeah, pretty much people made problem with the show. It's the story. How yet the Rangers just felt like a copy paste of other Sentai's. Like for fuck's sake, this show felt like a copy and paste of fucking Abba Ranger and Kiryuger, and that isn't a good thing. Mechs are cool. I like the mechs. My favorite is probably the Pita mech. But that's just me. And what the fuck up with that clusterfuck final mech? <laughs> like, for real, though. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway. Okay, my dog's barking. Sorry. Anyway, back on as I was saying. Anyway, back on as I was saying. Ooh, my bad. Back on as I was saying. It, yeah, the story's garbage. Because basically, the sums up the whole entire show. None of this had to happen if the real soul tribe didn't act like didn't act like a bunch of dumbasses because all the civilians who got hurt and killed through all episodes didn't have to be treated like that if the real soldier act like grown ups. If the real soul tribe didn't act like fucking dumbasses. I just saw your conflict and this unnecessary story. Like fuck, man. I, like I don't hate Rear Soldier, but still, I don't hate Rear Soldier though. I like I can see. <sighs> I want to say this. First time watching Rear Soldier, I fell in love with it. I thought it was a good show. It made me cry. It got me emotional too. Same for a second rewatch because I because like before Down Fear was a thing, I sat down. Binge watch, we binge and we binge watch, we watch the whole entire show for the second time and say, No, I'm all excited for Dino Fury. I came here to watch Dino Fury. Watch Dino Fury, first season, wasn't the best, it wasn't good. See, see, the first half, the first like, couple episodes of season two were good, but still not the best. Still bad in my opinion, but still. Well, I need to stop saying that, but, but yeah. Okay, and this, and this airplane on my window. Great. But, like, damn it. This, there are there are a lot of potential for the show being good. But just the fact that it copied off other Sentais really didn't work out. It didn't work out because my main problem, my main issue with Lupat is that the, that the Path of Ranger felt like a wash up wannabe version of the Decker Ranger because Pat of Pink felt like a garbage version of Hoji, but yeah, at the same time, same time, see, see, try to act serious, but yeah, see, really wasn't. 
Then you got the Green Ranger. Yeah, we don't talk about him. Then you got Kate, who felt like, felt like a wannabe version of Bond who had anger issue 24-7. He got a bad second half with his, with his relationship with his boyfriend, Kai. But still, besides that, he's like the, he's like the only real character in the Pat- on the Pat- Ranger team. And that's pretty sad to say. Like, ha- I- <laughs> Junko, no offense. I don't worry. I don't worry. I'll go back on what we have told it, but Junko, no offense, girl. But, but the way that you wrote for the show for Lupat, you focus on ninety nine percent of the show on one team said the other. Yet you focus on one character on the other team. Noel, Patrick Pink, and Patrick Green had no character development. Like, they felt unnecessary. Like for fuck's sake, the show should have been called Lupin, called Lupin, called Lupin Rangers. Just saying. <clears throat> oh man. So back on I was saying this show felt like this show felt like a this show felt like a copying off of other Sentai's Nin Ninja Kuryuger Abba Ranger Ghostager So I keep going because dude for real, like, this show felt like a copy of other mm-hmm. Sentai, including all, including other previous sen- dinosaur Sentai. Like, for real, this show had potential to be this good, but yet, it doesn't. It, it, it's a missed opportunity. Like, like, why you got to copy off other Sentai, other pet dinosaur Sentai? For the, for the ranger, not just dinosaur, like other Sentai as well, like for her, like from freaking Nin Ninja and freaking uh, Gelsager, like really? Why well, gotta copy off those? Those two aren't even good Sentai shows, but still. But again, really? You really gotta copy of Ob Ranger for Kiri, Ob Ranger and Kiryuja? Really? Because. Because those two are two fan favorite dinosaur Sentai, you gotta copy off of those. Like for fuck's sake, what? It's just dumb. It's just fucking dumb. That's the whole point. Hell, fucking Kira Major. If Kira Major did the exact same thing again, then Kira Major is just a copy paste of Decker Major. Yeah, over there, Akawa know what he was doing. He know what he was doing. He referenced Decker Ranger a lot in that show. But still, he knew what he was doing in there. Not just Decker Ranger. He copied, he referenced a lot of other, other, to, other work in Toku in that show. But he knew what he was doing in there. Here, if I want to watch a dinosaur Sentai, I'll go rewatch Alvin Ranger, which I have plans to rewatch Frenchy one of these days. I'll go rewatch Kiryu Hell, I'll be what Jew Ranger if I had to. But this show tried to copy all those all all those other shows. Except for Kira Major. This show tried to copy off three dinosaur Sentai, one not good one okay ninja Sentai, and one crappy Sentai before pirates happen. This show is on the exact same level of Lupat for being racist potential. And that's just it. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I want to say this. The Masters are okay. It was pretty cool seeing Time Red. Time Red actor. Again, I'm not a big fan of Time Ranger, but still. It was pretty cool seeing him and that reference they made from Time Ranger in the show. But besides that, what are my final thoughts? What are my final thoughts? Well. <sighs> it's okay. After all that, do I hate me, Soldier? Oh, God, no. Do I think it's way better than Lupat? Oh, hell no. Do you think it's way potential? Yes. Just like, just like with my Kabuto review, I talk about all my problems with Kabuto and Lupat. We Soldier, it's in my top 10, but damn. But damn. This, I feel like I feel like taking this off my top ten because fuck, this show has so many problems and it does. It could have been better. Don't get me wrong. Again, 
again, there are some there are some interesting there are some interesting things in this show that could have been good. But on pen and paper, it wasn't the best. Copying off other Sentai really didn't work. It's just Do I hate this show again? No, I don't. I don't think it I don't think it's worse than Lupat or Ghost Sager. No, hell no, it ain't it. But do I do I think that do I do but it's all fuck. But do you think it's better than Dino Fury? No. I'll take this over Dino Fury. Again, okay, I'll take Cole. I'll take Cole over fucking uh Zeto and day because Zeto's just Zeto's just boring. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like Dino Fury, so there's also that. But uh I'll get Reed Soldier a C. A C minus because Yeah no, no. Again, this show again this show could have been good, but but after all the stuff I just after all the stuff I just blurted out and talked about what I didn't like about the show. Yeah, no, it could have been good. Could have been good. <sighs> Two years ago when I first watched the show, again, I fell in love with it. I thought it was really good and emotional. Characters were written pretty well. I liked them all. I enjoyed them. Second time but yeah, but yeah, second time watching it. Try to think about try to think about it. Okay, 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 these, okay, mm -hmm. I still like this show, and they, and they also, have, they all have good character. But, but, third time watching this show, only like, only like what, one out of the six of the Rangers are enjoyable? That doesn't say much, because again, Bomba reminds me of Ghost from Curry, from, I'm just kidding yourself, Bomba reminds me of Ghost from Jew Ranger, but besides that, mm. everyone else is just a copy and paste of past Dinosaur Sentai Ranger, or a mix of other, or a mix of other annoying Toku character, except for one. But still, I'll reference Grease because Grease isn't a bad Toku character. But still, it's just it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Okay, you can like Real Sword. That's fine. Do, do, do I think the show's overrated? Oh, hell yeah. Bad Van Dow is fucking overrated. Excuse me, language, but this show is overrated and overhyped. Because, my God. <laughs> the last... I think we as Soldier fans on the same level of being annoying as shit with MNPR fans were hyping up this show. New Flash, MNPR isn't a good show. It's overrated. Stop milking it. Stop hyping it up because of nostalgia. And Tommy isn't a good ranger. Just saying. He was never a good ranger in the first place. So, yeah. Mm. So, ooh, my phone. <laughs> my bad. So, so, back on the saying. It's, yeah. This show is a C-. minus. It could have been good. <sighs> Do I think it's the worst thing? No. Lupac's way worse. Same for Ghost Sager. But we just thought it could have been good. The, I love the music. I love the ecstatics. Ecstatics. But even though I did talk about how ecstatics, how ecstatics were playing, man. For me personally, this is I like the ecstatics. I love the fucking suits, the mechs. I love all that stuff. I love the monster designs too. But it's just. <sighs> No, just, yeah, no, this show, this show isn't good. It's not bad, bad. It's just, no, no, it's, it isn't good. Okay, if you like this show, that's fine. That's understandable. But for me only. Yeah, no, this show isn't good. Only like, only like one of the six of the main rangers are likable. That doesn't say much. <sighs> it's just... Damn. I'm gonna guess at the like what? Fucking uh what was it, Tokyuger? Sentai really became fucking shit in the Heisei era. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Kyuger Kyuger was a Kyuger 
Kyuja became a fan favorite. I actually said for Tokyuja, but like I haven't watched Tokyuja so I can't say about I can't say much about that. But like after Tokyuja, not a lot of people get shit about Sentai. I'll hate Jiuja. I love Jiuja. It's the Jiuja's like Jiuja's like Jiuja's like a Jiuja's like, like a freaking underrated show for me. But besides that, I don't hate Jiuja. Q Rangers, okay. I don't hate it. Again, then I like feel the character. Naga, balance, hear me. I love the commander. I I I don't, I, don't, I can't stand the can't stand the pink ranger. I like I like sky blue. Lucky's meh. I can't. I don't like whole soldier. Can you get on my nerves? It had that's what that's what had like one of my favorite Sentai episodes. The fucking space the fucking deck ranger crossover. And I like that episode too because because that was the last time that was the last time the deck ranger cast were like anything Toku related. <laughs> well, I was well. There's all well. Hold on. There's all I can't say that because the freaking Akiba Ranger and, and Bond's actor appearing there because he's doing he because he's doing a press conference for the SPD dub for Power Ranger in Japan. <laughs> For those who don't know, and uh, for Key Ranger Season 2, Ryu Sanjay appeared, who played Bond. He said that in the episode, Oh, I'm not Bond. I'm Red Alpha because I'm going to a press conference for the Power Ranger SPD Japanese dub. And which, should you not, that actually happened, and I fucking loved it. <laughs> and yes, they had the Japanese dub of SPD. I did watch a few episodes, and it's cringy, but I, enjoyed, I fucking loved it. And I fucking loved it. And it's fan service, and I don't care. Am I being biased because that because that was my favorite season? Yes, I'm being biased, but still, I fucking loved it. So back on saying, yeah, no, we could have been, we could have been good. It's just, it gets overhyped. Like it's on the same level of being overhyped, over overrated, like like for Go Kaiser. And don't get me started on Go Kaiser fans. I have my problems with them and as well, but still. I don't hate Real Soldier. Is it in my top ten? Yes, yeah, number ten because of all these problems I just said. I don't know. I might change my top ten list. Who knows? But like, uh, damn, Real Soldier could have been good. That's that's just it. Real Soldier could have been good. So, yeah. my final verdict again. I'm getting so C, a C, a C minus. Not the best, but not the worst. It could have been better. So yeah, that, those are my final thoughts. So uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my notes. Post my. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. And uh, yeah, keep up with my, my next like podcast review, Dragon Ball review, Dragon Ball video for Xenoverse Two, I might to say, which I should be working on really soon. So yeah, and my next toy review, which will probably be on like on some kind of figure, but I don't know what yet. So yeah, and uh, I did a poll before watching Real Soldier, asking people, asking people what show should I watch, Real Soldier or Hurricane and uh, Real Soldier one. By default, one by default, duh. And uh, yeah. So next time my review, I will we will, I will talk about Nipu Sentai Hurricane Oh boy. If, if those, those don't know, I didn't like Hurricane two years ago because because that show was boring as hell. And uh, we're gonna talk about it here. We're gonna talk about Hurricane next time. Oh boy. Will this show? Will this show be good? Was the show getting my good side like last time? Probably no, cause the last time, the last time I watched the show, it was boring as hell. And like only good two good two good characters, and that's it. So yeah, next time, next time we're gonna talk about Nipu Sentai Hurricane. So yeah, my name is Brokusatsu or Broku or everyone call me, and I'm out. Bye.